One day, God told a man called Jonah, go to Assyria, to the capital of Nivea, tell the wicked people about me, and make sure they change their sinful ways. Now, Jonah didn't care for these people, and wasn't much bothered if they found out about God or not. He also didn't like the sound of walking into the capital city of a powerful warlike nation and telling the people what they were doing was wrong. So Jonah got on a boat in the opposite direction to Nivea and headed for Spain. As soon as the ship was on its way, God sent a mighty storm its way. The sailors were terrified and began praying to be saved. Still, the rain lashed the boat and the wind and the waves hurled its way and that, and the sailors decided that someone on board must be cursed. They drew lots and came up with no uh, with Jonah's name. Shamefully, Jonah confessed that he was disobeying God and by being, by being on the boat, "You'll have to throw me overboard." He wept. "It's the only way you'll get to uh, you'll get this storm to stop." The sailors were horrified and did their best to row to shore, but when the storm grew even worse, they concluded there was only one thing for it, and they dropped Jonah into the water. The minute they did so, the wind dropped, the wind stopped, the waves died away. And the ship was saved. Yay! God saved Jonah too. Instead of letting him sink and drown, he sent a massive fish that swallowed him. For three days, Jonah uh, wallowed in the stinky darkness of the fish's belly, praying to God for another chance. Finally, to his relief, the fish spat him out onto a sandy shore. Go to Nivea, God said again, and give the people my message. If they don't change their behaviour, I will destroy the city after 40 days. This time... Jonah did what he was told, and to his immense surprise, the Syrians listened. The king of Nivea believed God's threat and ordered his people to mend their ways. Soon there was a drop in crime and people started being more polite and kind to each other. They prayed for forgiveness and fasted and started worshipping God, and forty days came and went and God left the city and his people untouched. Jonah stomped off on his own and was unable, went out into the countryside. I knew this would happen. He moaned to God, sitting down in protest. They've come, uh, I've come all this way and nearly drowned and been eaten by fish and then walked for miles and miles and faced crowds of hostile strangers, all for nothing. You haven't punished anyone or destroyed anything at all. God decided to teach the hang- angry man a lesson. He made a tree shoot up swiftly right where Jonah was sitting. All day he could rest in its cool shade. However, the next day, God sent insects to eat the tree, so it shriveled and died, leaving Jonah sitting in the blazing sun. God also sent desert wind to roast him. If only my poor tree hadn't died, Jonah groaned. Well, said God kindly, if you're upset about a tree, a tree that you neither planted nor looked after, how upset do you think I would have been if the city of Nivea had been lost? 120,000 people live there, not to mention all the animals. And Jonah finally understood that God cared for all people, not just the Israelites. And for animals too. After all, hadn't God made them in the first place?